Okay guys, I'm stopping going to head up this place called Produce Junction. Down below Produce. So check this out. I missed my turn to turn around. What I want to share with you is um, one of you guys earlier, you know, can't help but be triggered when somebody says something that totally is against your conclusive files. So a guy triggered me earlier, but uh, it's something I've been playing with. A sort of a retaining wall self-repairing footer. Self-repairing footer. So this is my idea is that you a block turns sideways like a cinder block turns sideways at the base that allows the hollow core the web to be flat against the ground now I'm not sure how you would fill it and what shape I would make it um, what would you fill it with sand or would you fill it with the soil around it but I've been playing around with it trying to make it self-healing um, theoretically and actual so self-healing, meaning when water gets down to a footer, this is what's caused the, uh, a lot of times cause overturning of wall. And when I say overturning, it causes the rotation in the wall system. So what happens if we, we address the water down there? Can I get the water to be in balance by allowing it to come across the web? Not on one side of the wall, not on one side front or one side back. Normally everybody tries to do this with uh, drainage systems, which consequently usually don't work. Um, because water is still going to get there and start washing out your soils. So the base, the base, uh, enough stone of course would do it, but who's going to put a lot of stone in there? Not many people do. Not many people um, put enough stone in there to let all the, uh, to, to resolve issues and, and compaction, etc. But that's what I'm working on. I want to end the video with uh, a food for thought for you guys and, and let you see something differently. Again, overturning is uh, how retaining walls um, usually fail, usually fail, Just, um, constantly or frequently fail, how's that? I don't know, usual, I don't have the average of every damn retaining wall. Um, just wanted to share that with you and let's see if I can give you a little more visual. Um, a visual, imagine a solid wall just put in the ground. If I were to put water on one side of the wall at the base, the water will get into the soil, expand, and when it dries, it will contract and shrink. Doing this so many cycles creates an imbalance on one side of the wall. The wall is loaded and it starts leaning over towards the side that is experiencing the cycle, the water cycle. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't go to the other side, incidentally. The imbalance is towards the water side is how I've found each time. So in other words, the compressive side, the side is self-consolidating or self-compressing uh, because of the water. Okay, I have a few other ideas about um, creating a balance, but I just want to show you the concrete block theory um, and, and enjoy. Have a little fun on this post. Talk to me.